first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming to uh, Torino Rogers here today, all the DARE students, other students here that are come to show their support, parents, family, everybody. It's good to have you here to celebrate what these guys have gone through for the last 10 weeks with me and, and talk about what they've learned and, and acknowledge what they've done so far. Before we get going, I want to introduce a few people that are up here with me. Over on this side, Officer Crystal Templeton. <laughs> Officer Bill Dry over here. <laughs> Officer Parkhurst walking up here. <laughs> Officer Meeks over by the door handing out programs. Also up here, Lieutenant Steve Teeters. Major Clyde Atkinson. And most of you know the other gentleman sitting up here, Mr. Torres. So we're gonna hear from here in a little bit. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take care of the Pledge of Allegiance. So when I call the names of the students, if you would just come up here with me and we'll take care of that. Rayshawn Bucket. Grayson Thorpe, Nathan Hepborn, Maggie Vodder, Faith Mendez, and Kobe Reynolds. If everyone else would please stand. The flag is over there. to the fun stuff, the graduation, certificates, awards, all that, I just want to uh, say a few things about the D.A.R.E. program. For those of you that may not know exactly what the D.A.R.E. program is, it uh, stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. Uh, it was started in 1983 by then Chief Daryl Gates in the Los Angeles Police Department. Here in Murfreesboro, we started teaching it in 1992, and today we still teach it in all of our elementary schools here in the city and also two private schools. Right now, it's caught, uh, taught currently in the, about 80% of the school districts across the U.S. and also in 54 countries. It's a cooperative class between us as law enforcement and also the, ci the city schools and different school districts that we teach in. We bring in 10 weeks of lessons to the students, and we talk to them about a whole bunch of different things. A lot of them, uh, some of them are decision-making skills, risks and consequences, dealing with stress, bullying, being part of the community, health effects of drug use, responding to peer pressure, communication skills, and empathy. So we go over a lot of things that they use every day in their lives. At no time is it a drug recognition program. We never bring any of those into the classroom. But we talk about making good decisions, something they need to do every day, and we give them the skills to do that. Ms. Offit was going to be the guest speaker today. Unfortunately, she had an engagement that came up that she had to, to go to. Uh, so Mr. Torres is gonna take care of that for her. Uh, he got chosen for that. So give him a great, big round of applause. Give him up here. And... Thank you. All right, so first off, I wanna just um, echo some of uh, Officer Jay's uh, words with welcoming all of our, um, our guests, all of our parents. We're glad to see you here. Um, all of our SSROs, is that correct? EOs, officers that are here. Uh, of course, all of our fifth grade students and all of our guests, fourth grade uh, students who are here in attendance today. So thank you all for coming. Um, this is obviously a pretty important day for us as evidenced by all of our families that are here. I feel like I'm in the safest school in Murfreesboro at the moment, so I'm really happy to see all of our security that we have to take care of us. Um, Ms. Offit was, uh, was really saddened that she wasn't able to, uh, to be here to uh, deliver her speech. Um, she had an engagement uh, that came up, um, some, some scheduling conflicts or whatnot, so she's not here right now. She's doing some training, uh, helping some other teachers in the district. So she's doing a great thing. 
But she, she, this was so important to her that she went ahead and wrote out what she was going to say for you all, and so I'm gonna deliver her speech for her. So before I do that, I guess I gotta turn into Miss Offit, so give me just a moment. Okay, Reese Rogers Mustangs, woo! All right, so glad to see all my fifth grade students. I wanna tell you all how proud I am of you all for completing the D.A.R.E. program. You all are gonna be leaving Reeves Rogers at some point. Some of you all are gonna leave for sixth grade, some of you all are gonna stay another year, and then leave for seventh grade. This year in the D.A.R.E. program, you've been given a lot of tools. You've learned lots of different things about, about saying no to drugs, about making good choices, and, and these tools are gonna help you to make good choices and to stay safe. Even with these tools, though, you're still gonna to have to make some pretty difficult decisions about some things in your future, like who you're gonna hang out with, like who your friends are gonna be, like are you going to certain parties and events, um, are you gonna join different clubs and organizations, what are you gonna do for your future? All of these things are coming up, and we're glad that DARE has been able to help you with some of, with giving you some tools to help you with some of those decisions. But again, you got some difficult choices coming up. And we know growing up, it's pretty fun. I think all of us older people in here could probably look back on our younger years when we were growing up and say those are probably some of our best years in our lives. My best year, I think, was when I was five, actually. Or maybe not, I don't know. But growing up is definitely fun for all of us, and you all are right in the middle of all of that. However, as you grow older, and I know some of you all are finding this out, becoming fifth graders, moving on to sixth grade, and so on, decisions get harder and harder, and they become more and more important. The consequences of our decisions also become more and more important. You're going to be faced with people who are going to offer you drugs and alcohol. I know you all learned that in your D.A.R.E. classes. You're going to need to make some choices about who you choose to surround yourself with, who the friends are going to be in your lives, who the influences are going to be. Also, as you become older, who the adults are going to be that you're going to listen to. I think we're smart enough to know as fifth graders that even adults make bad choices and some of them aren't really worth listening to. And sometimes we really do have to figure out as we become older whether or not I'm getting some pretty good advice or whether or not this person giving me advice may not be the best person to listen to. Again, you got some choices to make. We want to make sure that you surround yourself with people who are going to be supportive and who are going to give you good advice and help you to make good choices during those difficult times in your lives. We want you to find friends who believe in the same things that you do, who uphold the same principles of our pride program here at Reese Rogers and all the different things that you learn in your dairy classes and all the things that I know your parents are teaching and instilling in you. Sorry. So when you're with others who don't agree or don't believe in some of the things that you've learned in the D.A.R.E. classes or things that you've learned as part of our PRIDE program, you've got to have people around you and in your corner to help you to deal with that. And that's why it's important that we surround ourselves with the right people. Those people can tell us, hey, you know what, dude, I think you're making a mistake. Well, you know what, stupid decision. You know what, cigarettes, good, put it down. You're seven, you don't need them. All right, you gotta have somebody that can tell you that, okay? So we wanna make sure we're surrounding ourselves with those people as we move on beyond Reese Rogers and in our lives. When you go to middle and high school, get involved in clubs, get involved in athletics, get involved in the band. Some of you all who are gonna be staying next year, get involved in our band. Some of you all who are here and playing basketball, continue to do that. Because those things are gonna put you around people that can help you to make good choices when you're faced with those difficult decisions in life. Growing up is fun, as I've said before. However, again, the decisions become harder. And those people that you surround yourselves are gonna be the ones that help you to make the right choices. Uh, last thing I just wanna leave you with is uh, I just want you to remember that no matter where you go, middle school, no matter where you go for high school, no matter whether or not you move on next year or you stay here with us for another year, um, you are Reeves Rogers family. You are always gonna be Mustangs. We are always going to love you, 
and we always are looking to see you all doing great things in the community, in your schools, and in the rest of you all's lives. So I hope you all always remember that, and that's coming from Ms. Hoffman and me. We love you, and, and we really want you all to do well. So we're proud of you. Congratulations again on completing that DARE um, program. Um, almost through your fifth grade year, doing great things. Uh, continue to make those choices, and if anything, just remember that you, know, you have choices to make, and you need to make sure that you're surrounding yourselves with people who are gonna instill those principles you're learning in DARE and here at school, and that your parents are teaching you. We love you, Reese Rogers, we'll always be family for you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Torres, and thank you, Ms. Offit, for uh, doing that speech. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> One of the things, I just want to say just a couple words before we get to all the fun stuff and the awards and all that. Uh, one of the things that Mr. Torres mentioned was family. And from day one, coming to Reeves Rogers, I felt like I was part of the family here. So thank you, students. A big thank you to the teachers for giving up that hour a week, letting me come into your classroom and teach the kids. I know that it's precious time to you guys, and I really appreciate it. And thank you, Mr. Torres, and all the administrators here for allowing me to come in and be a part of this family. So let's get into the fun stuff. Ms. Cheek, I think we're going to start with your class. So if you want to come on up. While they're on their way up here, a couple of things I wanted to mention about Dare's, the Dare class, we had some requirements for them to graduate. Uh, one of the things was attendance. They had to be there for most of the classes. They were, they were allowed to miss one or two for good reasons, but they had to be there and participate in pretty much every class. Uh, they had to complete a workbook, which we did every week, and then also, which we're gonna get to here in just a second, they had to write an essay. That was pretty important. A lot of, a lot of them kinda didn't know exactly what to do and all that, but they did a real good job. Uh, we talked about some of the, the things we learned in their class. They got to write about what they learned and how they feel about it. So we'll get to the essays here after we get certificates, and you guys will be able to hear uh, a few of those. So, Ms. Cheek? Thank you. I think my class is nervous because they know what happens when I get a microphone. I sing, don't I? Okay. All right, first, Yusuf Alassan. Malaysia Bailey. Paul Beal. Josh Callis. Charlie Cantrell. Cami Catron. Bryson Fisher. Gabriel Harris. Serenity Houseneck. Quincy Jackson. Zachoria Lester. Sierra Moore. Madison Morris. Damian Norris. Brandon Norwood. Kateria Odom. Rayshawn Puckett. Andre Ramirez. Gael Santos Torres. Javel Sadie. Gracie Thorpe. Thank you. No more you Just a little thank you for allowing us to come into the classrooms. All right, so we're going to do the awards for Ms. Cheek's class. Dare Girl, Cami Catron. Dare Boy, Yusuf Al Hassan. Uh, 
third place essay, Cami Catcher. Second place, Malaysia Bailey. Now the one everybody wants. No? First place, in the honor of coming up here and reading it, Paul Beal. Do you know how important DARE is to fifth graders? If not, this is what I'm here to tell you. DARE has helped me out a lot. I've been using the DARE lessons to be calm and deal with peer pressure. Also, I'm using D.A.R.E. to deal with stress. I plan to use D.A.R.E. by keeping the lessons in mind. For example, bullying is not nice. If you see someone being bullied, you should stand up or tell an adult. If you let it, hap if you let it happen, you are a bystander. I plan to make responsible choices by not being a bystander and standing up or informing an adult. D.A.R.E. is a fun and safe way to help kids make safe, smart, and responsible choices. So I hope you get to do D.A.R.E. and hope you have fun, just like I did. D.A.R.E. is important to me because it has changed, it has, it has changed me, it has changed the way I deal with problems. P.S. Don't be startled when a, when a police officer walks into your classroom because it is your D.A.R.E. officer. All right, Dr. Eden, you're up. First, we have Donye Asbury. <laughs> Olivia Barkley. <laughs> Cortez Blackman. <laughs> Rachel Chung. <laughs> Kayla Comer. <laughs> Nathan Hepborn. Celeste Hernandez. Francesca Johnson. Oscar Kroll. Darius Payne. Matthew Quinones. Daniel Robinson. Haley Sherfield, Savannah Siharat, Maggie Vauder, Mariana Villegas Hernandez, Carlos Wade, Trent Young. Malachi Powell. All right, awards for Dr. E's class. Dare Girl, Kayla Comer. Dear boy, Trent Young. I always like when this happens because I let them get back to their seat. Third place, Trent Young.
Second place, Savannah. And first place. Ready? All right. Francesca Johnson. <laughs> Officer J. Red has taught us great last year and dare this year. He has taught us not to do drugs and not to bully. I learned that it is not good to bully. There are four types of bullying. It is also bad to smoke. There are more than 200 chemicals in just one cigarette. It is not good to do drugs because it could harm you and others. I feel great to be dare class. I am happy to be drug free. It is important to be drug free. Why is it important to be drug free? Well, it's important to be drug free because it can also kill you the first time you do it. You can get lung cancer and many other health problems from smoking. Alcohol is bad because it can cause car crashes and other accidents. Alcohol can make good kids make bad decisions. Alcohol can make you feel depressed and sad. In closing, Officer j -Rad has made me more aware of personal responsibilities to take care of my, myself and others. I have learned from my parents, my dad is old school, my teachers, and my instructors. I have been taught to stand up for what is right even if I stand alone. All right, Miss Stanley. Ava Burson, Amaya Clarity, Cameron Denson, Chris Harris, Alex Hernandez, Tommy Hong, Cole Kelly, Carter Kuzmak, Jackson Luzinski, Caitlin Mack, Emma Mefford, Faith Mendez, Christian Messick, Angel Newman, Ivy Q, Colby Reynolds, Joseph Rigsby, Wally Rulikira, Aiden Shepherd. Amani Spencer, and Demarcus Williams. And we have something for you from the teachers and administration. Thank you for coming in. Well, thank you. Every week. Thank you so much. Don't go in there. That's okay. All right, awards from Ms. Stanley's class. Dara Girl, Ivy Q. Dare Boy, Wally Rulakira. Third place essay. Emma Meffer. <laughs> 
Second place, Amani Spencer. And first place, everybody's waiting, Amaya Clark. DARE is a program that gives kids a chance to make a good decision in life before they get older. It helps you to see how bad drugs and, sim and things similar to them can be. I feel like DARE is very important in life because it tells you why drugs are bad and why you shouldn't do them when you are older. It makes me feel safer to talk to friends about my personal life and things going on at home. I have talked to friends and family members to get stress off my back. I think that, it, that making good decisions can help others feel better and safer. It is good to stay drug free because if you do drugs, you can get in a lot of trouble and it can hurt you. I make a commitment to stay drug free because when I'm older, I do not want to hurt my body or get into a lot of trouble. Is that it? I do want to tell everyone that all of us would probably agree that's the hardest job of every semester when we have to go through all those essays and try and pick out three winners out of each class because they all of them do a great job. And that, that's probably one of the hardest things we do. Uh, a couple more presents that we have or awards that we have to give out. Mr. Torres, if you come back up here, we've got two gifts. Both for me. Well, here's, what, here's the deal. You get to choose which one you want, and you get to give the other one Miss Hoffman, since you had to come and do her speech, okay? Okay. okay I'll just take both. What's in this one? Those are pens. They're both pretty good. No, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll decide when she gets back. Thank you for filming for today. We really appreciate Thank it. You. Give Miss Torres a round of applause. For those of you that receive programs when you come in, if you would do me a favor, just flip over to the back page real quick. A couple things I want to mention. Those are our list of our sponsors that we have. Two of them that I want to point out in particular. First one is Murfreesboro City Cable Channel 3, which is here recording. Uh, your students got a list of the playback times on Channel 3, so if you have Comcast Cable, uh, you'll be able to watch this and record it at, at another time. So those are all on that list that went home. Also, another one is Skate Center West. They provide a free skate night for all the D.A.R.E. graduates, which is going to be Monday the 14th from 5 to 7.30. You guys need to wear your D.A.R.E. shirts. Come on. It's free charge for you. You guys get a piece of pizza and soda. Um, also, if you have any siblings, brothers, sisters, cousins, anybody else wants to come with, there is a small fee if they want to skate. Also, parents, if you guys want to come and, and hang out with your, your students, you can. To get in, there's no charge, but if you want to skate also, there's a small fee. Uh, make sure you guys are there to pick them up at 7.30. That's what time they get done, and we'll send them home. They always have a great time. Um, that's pretty much it. I think we're done. Uh, I know students have a couple more things to do before they get to go back to class or home or wherever they're going. If you were a D.A.R.E. essay winner, I need you guys to come up by the table up here. If you were a D.A.R.E. boy or a D.A.R.E. girl, I need you to come over to this side and we're going to take some pictures. Also, families, be, feel free to bring your phones and cameras and, and take pictures. So thank you all for coming, and hope you enjoy it.